Hi, my name is Troy Roberts, and uh, in this video, I will be demonstrating Lorenz's Force Law. Quick overview on what this video will cover. Uh, go over a little overview of Lorenz's Force Law, quick theory, uh, show you the materials I use to build this demonstration, uh, kind of go over the setup and procedure, and then I'll show you a video of the demonstration in action. Uh, Lorentz's force law is the force on a charged particle as it moves with some velocity through an electromagnetic field. In the Lorentz's force uh, equation below, you can see Q is the uh, charged particle uh, in question, um, E is the vector quantity for the electric field, V is a vector quantity for the velocity of the charged particle, and B is a vector quantity for the magnetic field. A more practical approach to Lorentz's force law is to combine the definition of electrical current in a current carrying wire with that of a Lorentz's force law. In the below equation, I is the current running through the wire, DL is the differential length of the wire, or in other words, the total length of the wire, and B is the vector quantity for the magnetic field. In order to determine the direction of the force, the right hand rule is used. Point your thumb in the direction of the current, in this case along the wire, and your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. The direction your palm is facing is the direction of the force. <coughs> All right, for the demonstration, I used some copper coil, uh, 16 gauge. Um, this is bare, not coated. I used uh, four AA batteries. Um, got a nice little battery holder here. Um, and some alligator clips to make it easier to connect. We have two rare earth magnets, um, very, very powerful, and a piece of wood for the base. To begin with, the uh, bare copper wire was wrapped around about a one and a half, two inch diameter PVC pipe. And we wrapped, wrapped it about three times around. Like so. And this is a rough example. And then you have your finished product. Uh, next, we took some of the bare copper wire and uh, we bent them into M shapes, like so. Um, and these are the supports that the coil will ride in. And then finally, the base that those supports will fit in is right here, this piece of wood. And we've drilled four holes into the wood in order for it to support. All right, to prevent the uh, coil from oscillating back and forth, I have uh, gotten a hold of some RTV silicone, it's non-conductive, and I've applied it to half of the wire where it makes contact with the support, and the other half remains bare. Uh, to demonstrate, this uh, prevents it um, when you have the magnet down here. Uh, you have current flowing this way, according to the right-hand rule, uh, force going or magnet field going up causes it to force to go up. But on the other hand, on the other side, you have your um, current going this way. So once it nears the magnetic force, it's going to want to cause it to oscillate. Um, cutting off the current through the coil, um, once it reaches here, allows it to continue through spinning and then making contact again. Therefore, uh, you get constant rotational speed.